Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, this is the third video in our uh, intermediate Python uh, tutorials, and I'm going to be going over the map function. Um, so pretty much the map function is an extremely useful tool that allows us to, well, apply a function to a list and then create a new list um, with those new values. And you'll understand what I mean as I go through an example here. So before I even start using the map function, I want to just present us with a problem um, that the map function can solve. And this is kind of the best way to understand it. So I'm going to create a list. Um, I'm just going to call it li of integers up to uh, 10 like this. So 9 and 10. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to create a function and I'm just going to call it func. And it's simply going to take one parameter x. And all we're going to do is we're going to return x to the exponent x. Very simple. Okay. Now, what this problem is, it's very simple. Um, I want you, or I want to be able to apply this function x to every value in the list here, so one uh, to 10, um, and then have that stored in a new list. So intuitively, the way that you would wanna do this, um, or the way that you would try to do this at least, is you'd make something like new list is equal to this. You'd write a for loop, you'd say for x in li, and then you'd say, new list dot append um, and then you would put well func and x like that and then if you printed out your new list you would get that value i don't know why print is showing up in a different color now but anyways um and there we go so we get one four twenty seven and so on and so forth okay um so now what we want to do is use the map function to do this faster so this is a very valid way to do this. This works fine, but I can actually shorten all four of these lines into one um, by using the map function. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna start by typing, uh, actually we're just gonna print because I wanna print first starting with, I'm gonna do list um, like that and I'll sh tell you why in a second. I'm gonna write my map function like so. Uh, and now your map function takes two arguments. Um, so it takes a function and it takes a list. So let's give it our function, which in this case is going to be called func. And then let's give it our list. So I actually don't need these double brackets here. Excuse me. Let's give it our list, which in this case is li. So let's talk about what this really is doing right now. So the map function takes a function, which is func. So the name of our function, and it takes a list, which is li. What it's going to do is it's going to apply this function to every element in the list. And we can watch this happen. We run the program. And you see we get the exact same value as we did before um, and that's extremely uh, extremely useful in python because there's a lot of times you want to apply a function or even possibly multiple functions onto um, a very or onto a list or every element of the list and you don't want to have to type out that whole for loop yes you can do that it works fine but the map function is just a shortcut to be able to do that um, so let me just show you now uh, maybe a few other examples that we can use. So like using this map function, there's another way that we can create this and it's totally preference which one you wanna use. I like using map just cause it's kinda of cool. Um, you can also use something called list comprehension. Um, and this is something I would have shown in some of my previous Python tutorials uh, like from way back like years ago on my channel, but I'll go over it quickly now. Um, and the way that this works is you can do the same thing. So you can say func x, for x in li. Now this is actually gonna give us the exact same value as what we have up here with this map uh, function li, for example. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna take this right here, so whatever this expression is, um, and we're gonna do it uh, for every value of x in the list. So that's exactly what this map function does. Um, and it's just gonna turn it into a list because we put our square brackets here. So if I print this out, see we get, again, the same value. Um, and that's how list comprehension works. Now for list comprehension, you can also add um, like an expression in here. So I could do something like if, um, let's say x uh, modulus, oops, modulus two equals equals zero. And now it's only gonna do this uh, or put this into the list if x is divisible by two. Uh, syntax error. Oh, I forgot my square bracket here, my bad. I uh, don't know how I even got rid of that. Let's run that. Oh, it's because that is why. All right, excuse me on that. Okay, so now we get four, two, five, six. So it's only doing it for the even numbers of X. 
Um, so yeah, those are two really cool ways to kind of change a list or modify them, apply a function to them in Python. Say, obviously, you might want to use a function that's more advanced than this. Um, this is just for a basic example. And if you wanted to apply maybe two functions to it, you could have x be changed here. And then you could return like function 2 of x to the x here. And then that would put um, that value, obviously, in the map. So again, map takes two parameters, a function and a list. Um, and it will apply uh, the function to every value in that list. I hope this has been useful for you guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'm going to be moving on to some more complicated and um, other examples using map and other functions um, in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that.